This is about the tomb of the diver, built around 470 before Christ, located in Pestum near Napoli, in the south of Italy. According to Holloway, it is, I quote, the only example of Greek painting with figured scenes dating from the orientalizing, archaic or classical periods to survive in its entirety. Among the thousands of Greek tombs known from this time, roughly 700 to 400 before Christ, this is the only one to have been decorated with frescoes of human subjects. End of quote. The one shown here is the tomb's ceiling fresco, the four others being on the walls. One major interest of this painting is in its possible symbolism related to death, time, and the cycles of life. If you count the blocks building the vertical part of the diving tower, you'll get the number 24. The number 24 has been used successively by the ancient Egyptians and later by the ancient Greeks to divide the day, while the idea of hours of equal lengths was introduced by ancient Greeks. The painting could depict death as the act of jumping off time, symbolized by the 24 blocks evoking the 24 hours of a day. Death is the ultimate decay stage of the body due to time. Once off the body, time loses its grasp on the individual, assuming the individual is not limited to the physical body. The picture could also suggest that being alive is a higher state than being dead, and that death is fluid, unstable like water. Birth comes out of an analog fluid state in the mother's womb, and the circle is completed. The plants could symbolize the cycle of the seasons, in which there is the return of what had lately died. It should also be noted that the trees have both seven end branches. Seven is an important number to the human being, for example, with his seven chakras or the seven days of the week. <laughs>